it's it's funny that we we created this sport here on earth and you're just like well you're you're playing with you're playing with fire at any at any given moment and mm -hmm. you're fighting in four ounce gloves it's you're fighting the best guys in the world yeah it's completely unpredictable like we talked about it your thousand to one favorite thousand one underdog mm -hmm. it actually doesn't matter you yeah. know we talk about the kamar usman leon edwards fight where you're, he's winning yeah 90 percent of the fight the and all time. of a sudden gets caught and then mm -hmm. wakes up and says what the heck i'm not champion anymore you know it's but it's why we love it. Right. And even the way Kamara responded after that was, this is why we love the sport. And yeah. that's, that's the kind of the mentality you, you have to have or else you're just going to you know, crawl into a hole and give up. Do you, do you think he really does love that? Or do you think that people say what they're supposed to say? Because I don't love Lucy. No, no. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, well, well we, we, we talked about that too. I, I think uh, it's hard because, no, you don't want to lose ever. Mm -hmm. But at some point, you know, we kind of talked about I've Kamaru and myself and a multitude of other fighters have been on the positive side of that. Yeah. You know, where it's you throw a punch or you throw a kick, you didn't even really know it was going to land. And all of a sudden mm -hmm. they're on the floor, you're getting your hand raised. You're like, holy cow, I love the yeah. parody of right. this sport. I love the unpredictability of the sport. I love mm -hmm. how the fights can just be over and I can get my hand raised and go collect my paycheck and kiss my wife. So you can't love and accept that when it goes your way. Right. But not also be a little bit, you know, you hate it and it right. might, might you, your inner demons start coming out where mm -hmm. you're just like, oh, I, I knew I wasn't that good. I knew I wasn't going to be hang on, hang on for that long. I knew mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Um, you can't be accepting of the good and loving of the good and, you know, take all the credit for whenever it does go good without also having a little bit of intro, introspection and look yourself in the mirror and mm -hmm. say, well, sometimes you're just going to get caught. Sometimes yeah. you're going to be on the crappy side of it. Yeah, I you know. You know, and as we as we've mentioned too, the crowd can be fickle because huh. I I see the comments and you know Kamaru he like against Covington they would be you know Colby would be like more personal. Kamaru seemed like he was more professional, and then I saw kind of the tide turn where he was champion, defending champion, and then he was like wearing the coats with no shirts and the <laughs> yeah. chains. And so then, and, and that's fine. I, I have yeah. no problem with it. I, I, I love that part. I mean, that's, you know, you follow these personalities and these fighters because of their, their uniqueness. But then when you lose and you've had the, the chains and the jacket, then people are like, Oh, see, yeah. you, you know, you got too full of yourself, you yeah. know, is that as a fighter, that's gotta be difficult. Yeah, it is. I mean, whether you win or lose, I mean, it's, it's, uh, at some point, and I, and I really did realize this when I came to the UFC because it was such a bigger platform, you mm -hmm. know, and I've been signed with the UFC now for two, two and a half years. You're just left up to so much public opinion mm -hmm. by everybody, just by millions and millions of people. So at some point, and you know, you know my personality, I, I want people to like me. Yeah. I want to be, I want to be, I want to walk into a room and people like say, I like that guy. I, I think be. everybody wants well, that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, want that. Right. <laughs> um, and there's, there's certain people that far, that far and few between, like, you're just like, doesn't bother them at all. Right. People hate them. I'm yeah. Like, how, I don't know how you do that. I wish I had a little bit more of that, but <laughs> it is, it is tough, you know, um, because you are just left up to the court of public opinion, you know, yeah. and, and obviously we live in a social media age these days. We live mm -hmm. in a, we live in a, we live in a day now where everybody has been given a voice with mm -hmm. their little Twitter fingers. And yeah. They've been given an opportunity to make a comment on every single thing that right. you do. Right. And you could choose to either just be like, well, I'm not going to put anything out there because I don't want criticism or you can live your life, be authentically you. Mm -hmm. The people that are going to love you are going to love you. And the people that are not going to love you are just not going to like you. It's yeah. just part of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, I was thinking about that too. Um, in a sport like your profession, losses are going to happen because if you look at it right now, if you look at the list of champions, um, most of them are new champions mm -hmm. with zero title defenses. I think, uh, let's see, Lee, or not, Lee, uh, Sterling has one. Yep. Everybody else is pretty much yeah. zero. Uh, oh, no. Um, Volkanovsky has four. Oh, yeah, Volkanovsky's. And so, but the point is, it's like, these are all people win, people lose. There's new guys coming up. So, yeah, yeah it's not like people are going on Anderson Silva type nine-year runs of undefeated tenures, you know? Yeah, which is which is a, a crazy, kind of a crazy time. And I don't know, I don't know if it's because, you know, similar to what we've talked about too, that the sport is continuing to evolve. Mm -hmm. And there's so, it's getting very crowded 
with the amount of contenders that there are that are good enough to actually win the fights. You know, mm-hmm. back when you were watching Anderson Silva and you knew love Forrest Griffin, but there ain't no way he was going to beat him. Right. You know, you look at, you know, Chael got, Chael got close. Mm-hmm. Um, but even before that fight, I was like, man, I love Chael. Mm-hmm. I just don't know if he could get it done against Anderson. You know, there was every time Anderson stepped in there, like, man, uh, yeah, we might, we're going to watch it, but he's, Anderson's going to win. Yeah. Whereas now these fights are so competitive. Mm-hmm. These, there's the contenders, the number two, the number three, the number four guy or gal in the world is they can come in and, and win it on any given night. Not to mention the fact of the puncher's chance, not to mm-hmm. mention the fact of, of this sport being over in a blink of an eye. Yeah. You just get, you know, the night just goes, <laughs> your lights go out and it's over. Oh. So it's, uh, it is interesting. Um, and, people are going to lose mm-hmm. and that's why i think that's why we like it too you know we you know we love we love winners but we also love to see how somebody comes back from a loss how somebody mm-hmm. pulls himself back up how a guy like kamaru who was so dominant didn't look like he was gonna you know lose to too many people recently how does he come back yeah you know? it, does that infant i mean is there an air <clears throat> of in, invincibility like for him like <clears throat> i wonder if he thought that i'm not gonna lose yeah and these guys aren't on my level and then all of a sudden boom whoa i wonder if that can that change how he approaches everything probably i think i mean that was the that was the only, only time he's ever been knocked out mm-hmm. you know and, and honestly i think leon just won knockout of the year too mm-hmm. you know in a lot of people's eyes so it was a not only did he lose he got knocked out and it was a pretty devastating knockout and but you know it's uh it's hard to talk about because you know you never want to see a guy yeah. lose but it's just it's just the part it's a part of the sport it's just it's just mm. crazy and it's no, i know but it's also if you're pursuing anything worthwhile whatsoever if mm-hmm. you're trying to be a man or a woman of impact if you're trying to do something that that wells something up inside of you that then in turn other people can see and it wells something up inside of them Mm -hmm. you're leaving yourself up to not just criticism but you're leaving yourself up to loss to yeah the trials and the tragedies and the valleys you know you're putting yourself out there yeah and ultimately that's what else is life if you're not doing that you know so that's why i've always said that mixed martial arts and fighting is a metaphor for life you know those the fights that we are in inside of an octagon in some arena in some city on Mm -hmm. on any given saturday night is a metaphor for the fights that we're all going through in in our lives and the way that we watch people overcome the odds or we watch Mm -hmm. somebody be extremely dominant or we watch a nice crazy back and forth battle it's it's a it's a metaphor for all the things that we're going through in life 